it's nine o'clock. We'll go ahead and and um, get started with our public our meeting with the elected officials. And today is our last and final. We've got Mr. Rodney Kane with us, the Lowndes County Tax Commissioner. Mr. Kane, would you like to come forward? Yes, sir. Welcome. Been doing well. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Things going real good. Good. Yes, sir. Um, what we've been asking, if you would, just kind of go through you, your budget as you've submitted it and give us your highlights on what you see are issues that needs to be, that are of concern, and then we'll have questions following that. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm honored to be here, Commission Chairman Bill Sloaner, Commissioner Joyce Evans, Commissioner Scott Orenstein, Commissioner Mark Weisenbaker, and Commissioner Dr. Marcus Marshall. Honored to be here with y'all. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I'll, I'll look at it like this. I have not got to be here, but I get to be here. <laughs> I get to be here. I'm honored to be here. Us too. Um, I, uh, I have with me uh, okay. my uh, Chief Deputy Beth Taylor, uh, Property Tax Manager Shelley Shaw, and Miss Jerry Smith, she's out today. She's, you know, the uh, tag agent. Okay. And she's going to be retiring August the 2nd. And uh, uh, Loretta is uh, being trained to be our new TAG agent. Okay. And Loretta's been here with been with us for 24 years. Shelly Shaw, 19, and Beth already over a year. Good. Time flies, golly. Yes, it does. Uh, I don't know what I'd do without them. They, they're all doing a great job. They have their hands full, but they're doing a great job. I'm proud of every one of them. Um. Uh, and uh, getting on to the budget, uh, uh, there's a few line, a few items we've uh, decreased and a few we've slightly, slightly increased. But uh, uh, the increases for 2020, I know it sounds like it's unbelievable, but we're running a tight ship and, and it's only increased. <coughs> we're asking for an increase of only $3,339. Uh, let's see here. And I appreciate your consideration on these matters and welcome you to visit our office anytime. And I appreciate y'all's time. Now, um, would y'all like for me to uh, go over what the outline out items that we want to increase or decrease? Well, well, yeah, I, you know, I mean, if you've got anything that's in your budget specifically that you have put in that budget that was not in there last year, for example, uh, whether it be staffing, uh, supplies, whatever it might be, whatever your needs are, if you could just touch on those, and then we'll okay. we'll follow up with some questions after that. Okay. Well, we're uh, not requesting any additional personnel. Okay. Uh, and... Uh, Looks like, as far as new items, I don't think we, I don't think we're uh, adding any new items. Actually, we have actually taken away a couple, <coughs> a couple things, and you may have uh, may have noticed. Uh, let's see, uh, St uh, Sturgis. Uh, I've renegotiated a contract with Sturgis and uh, saving uh, saving us a pile of money on with Sturgis. Let's see. Uh, we were paying $6,340 for Sturgis Web Services, our website provider, and uh, I got it down to $2,000 from $6,340 to $2,000. I'm very proud of that. Uh, so I could go over each of these line items, but... but okay, uh, well, let's, let's, let's just do this then. Looking at it, uh, you said that... <coughs> Additional staffing re request. However, on the salaries, um, I see that there's a 3.68 percent increase there um, from 830,000 to 860. So, are you doing anything with staffing, uh, or is because we don't have any? That's that's, that's our calculations based on the way we put the budget together. Okay. That's the information we get from HR. I got you. Okay. okay. That's, that's, so there's no new be, positions in there. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Um, commissioners, 
Any questions now, jump in any time. <laughs> I see you've got an increase on your education and training, some seminars. It looks like, um, just looking at it, the seminar hosting, so you're hosting a seminar this year? Is that what that uh, means? Or? We're um, uh, trying to uh, keep our uh, staff up to date on, on education, and, and it's a lot cheaper for a DOR. They'll come. To our location and put on a class, mm -hmm. and it only costs us. I think it's five dollars per uh, person. So we figure we're saving a lots of money and keeping staff up to date okay. on things. Good enough. Stephanie, I know some of these some of these numbers might be out of their control. I was just wondering what drives that Social Security amount up. Social Security, I see, as well as health care. Those numbers are based off of the um, salary and benefit cost. So those are calculated um, based off of that. The only one that really changed as far as the amount per person is the health insurance. But those are all based off the personnel. Okay, and basically you're saying that the rate of insurance that uh, – each year when we renegotiate the insurance or just the usage of the insurance that have drove, given the, I guess, percentage of we have We put in a contribution per full-time employee, and depending on the claims and the cost of premiums each year, we may have to adjust that, um, the amount that we contribute per employee. So there, there had to be an adjustment this year. Mr. Kane, I, I hear what you were saying about the education and training, and, you know, that's one of the areas that we all as elected officials get scrutinized on. Yes, and everybody sir. Everybody thinks we just want to run around the state and spend money on food and lodging and all that. So I was glad to hear what you were saying <clears throat> back when we were talking about item 53306. But, but I thought I would see something a little different in 309 when I looked down. But actually we've got an increase in the budget. Um, for education and training, whereas year to date we've only spent $83 of the $2,500 budgeted. And I know we're not talking about huge dollars, but still a pretty big column. So I'm a little bit confused about <clears throat> when you say that we're going to try to do a lot of training in house, and, and we all need to do that when we can. Um, but, but yet we're still seeing an increase in the request for this year. Uh, increase so, of uh, I'm confused about that. Increase of one thousand and forty dollars. Well, no, am I <clears throat> on the three oh nine? Am I reading it wrong? It's a forty one percent increase from twenty five hundred dollars in nineteen to thirty five hundred in twenty twenty. But <clears throat> are you anticipating some additional training happening, like relatively soon? Because again, you've only spent eighty three dollars of the twenty five hundred dollar budget. I don't know how that eighty-three dollars comes about because we've spent a lot more than that. Right? We spent, I think, right at twenty-one, twenty-two hundred. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we. I think we're up to approximately twenty-two hundred right now. Okay. All right. Well, that makes sense. But but you are expecting some additional costs next year for trial. Uh, yes, sir. Oh, uh, yes, sir. Okay, on your um, <coughs> technology fleet rental, um, we've got an increase in there. Is there any particular technology that you're needing to address there? Uh, well, that you come know, from IT. That comes from IT. That that is still IT updates. That's what that's, that is. that's those are based on the cost of technology that's shared by everyone, and it is um, split depending on right. how many computers okay. they have. So that's a. That's I just didn't know if there was anything there that they may have added, something uh, they were looking for. Well, you know, uh, the state mandated where every county in Georgia is having to go with a new drive system. Gratis is about to be history. Twenty on the twenty eighth of uh, this month, we go live with drives, and that has required a lot of updates and additional equipment. 
and we're going to have to uh, replace them. Going to have to have a scanner at a scanner at each station. Is that correct? Going to have to have a scanner at each station now. <coughs> On uh, one thing I'm not trying clarification under 53-375 is travel. It says posting property for tax sales. We we went several years there. There was nothing on that line. And then year to date for 2019, we're at 575-54, and then the request is for 840 in the 2020. <coughs> is there something there that's changed on posting property for tax sales or is that it does it need to be under that for travel or how is that um, I believe that's the mileage reimbursement for somebody going around and posting those tax sales posting up at those properties okay they don't use tax commissioner vehicles to do that they're using they they don't have vehicles okay. um, I don't know if they have um, looked into getting a borrowing a vehicle okay I just um, wondered why that was there because it um, hasn't been there in the past. Commission Chairman, I, I think in the past um, that delinquent department has borrowed a car from the Sheriff's Department. I think that's okay. in the past, and uh, and it's an old clunker that we you know really don't feel like we're better off with a better automobile. Okay. Well, I mean, we appreciate what Sheriff Paul did right. loan, loaning the vehicle, but we just want a better one. So Lucinda would like to use her personal vehicle. Okay. Commissioners, any other questions? I just had a comment, um, um, as Mr. Chairman. Uh, I, I've, I've heard them a positive things uh, for the community. Um, uh, and, and in particular, uh, a lot of people uh, tend to like to see everyone's property when it's delinquent <laughs> posted, mm -hmm. I guess is what I'm, I've been hearing in the community, that, hey, uh, people are starting to pay now. Uh, they're, they're moving forward, so you know. I just uh, thank you all for what y'all doing, um, and help collecting these uh, revenues that are due uh, in a timely manner. So, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate that. We're we're working on it every day, and uh, most folks, uh, they I, I think everyone knows they have to pay taxes. We just have to put a little heat up underneath them at times. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, sure do. Does staff have any particular questions? Commissioner, I wanted to ask you about the uh, advertising on the tax sales. I think that has been a, a significant increase. Um, so I know you have had some sales. Has that in, been a direct result of an increase in revenue? Uh, most definitely, yes, sir. And I think we have gone from... That we're up to about twelve and a half thousand on our uh, on your advertising uh, for those sales, I believe. Is that Where is that? Pardon me. In advertising, I'm looking. Um. Oh, so, let's see. Looks like sixteen hundred and fifty. Dollar increase in advertising. Um, a reason for increase: three newspaper ads at five hundred and fifty dollars. County five-year history and millage uh, increase. We have to post. I, I think the question is: the um, amount listed for tax sales is three thousand four hundred fifty-six dollars, and I think what you've spent on tax sales so far this year is about twelve and a half thousand. So is that a realistic figure, or <coughs> was this just a really big year? Uh, th this year, uh, this year probably was one of the larger years. Uh, we had the, extra tax sale. The, the, the extra tax sale, uh, trying to clean up uh, some properties that that uh, we had not been receiving taxes on for several years, and. Uh, I think we got a lot of that property maybe in good hands to where the neighbors will keep the property clean and, and make the city and county both look better. I apologize. I see what the issue is now. They're actually over their budget from what they submitted last year from 4000 to 13000 What line item are you looking at? 
that'd be uh, 52200. And if you'll come over there to where it's 2019 year to date, you'll see the 2019 budget was $4,000. And then, but year to date, they spent 13202 But then the request is back down to 5650 which is reasonable. But I just want to make sure that that number is correct, I mean, that, we, that we're not just putting in a 5650 and then next year we're going to be over budget again. You see what I'm saying? No, I, I, th I think that that's just correct. equal back out, level out, and, and then this year we'll be back where we need to be at. Uh, that's okay. my anticipation. Okay. Yes, sir. Because it doesn't do us a whole lot of good to <coughs> work back in two and get a budget set, and then we end up, for whatever reason, going over those, those requests, over those budgeted items, especially if it's on the side of a request. Work with those, and then we still go over them. Any other questions? No, sir. All right, hmm. Rodney. Thank you very much for coming in. I appreciate y'all very we much. I really know it's not a fun and easy task, but it is a process that we all have to go through. And and at the end of the day, there is justification. I mean, it's just like y'all trying to save the taxpayers a dollar. There you go. <laughs> thank you all. Thank you all. <clears throat>